going all of a sudden. We keep reassuring yeah. everybody that it is Friday the 13th, in right. case you haven't gotten it from the first 14,000 times we mentioned it so far. Okay, we're actually going to do it three times this year, which, again, thank you, Mayans, really, you're letting us know that 2012 is going to be a rough one for us. The next time in April, then in July. Some people stay at home on this unlucky day. Others avoid doing unlucky things like opening an umbrella inside. But KPSB right. Local 2's uh, Kate Cagle, ah. she's in studio and she doesn't seem to mind. Kate is opening the umbrella. There we go. And she's taking her chances, right, Kate? I do not suffer from, get this, Parascovetica triophobia. Oh. Hold the prompt there. Parascovetica triophobia. Oh, Parascovetica tri triophobia. That's the official name for fear of Friday the 13th. And three times this year, that is pretty significant. That's because National Geographic magazine found $900 million worth of business is lost on this day because people won't leave the house. But the day can only really hurt you if you happen to run into Jason or if you are very superstitious. <laughs> the ultimate unlucky day. 13 being such an unlucky number, 80% of high-rises don't even include the floor. Watch out for the guy in the hockey mask. Today's the day Jason comes back to seek his revenge. The slasher films are so popular, they've made 12. Wait, 12? Sounds like it's time for a sequel. But even if you don't think you'll be murdered at Crystal Lake, you might want to avoid walking under a ladder. Although ladders seem to be much more dangerous if you're on one on QVC or Australian insurance ads. No one wants to be crossed by a black cat on this day, not even this bear. Maybe this is why. Although they don't seem to do too much harm, they just look really cute. Today might be a good day to adopt. Many shelters offer discounts on black cats on Friday the 13th. Besides, who wants to be lucky anyway? According to Britney Spears, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Well, a lot of you weighed in on this on Facebook. Let's hope it's a lucky day for Hallie Valdez Fetty. She's looking forward to it. Yesterday, she wrote on Facebook, our daughter, who was hired at Disneyland a few months ago, will be Mary Poppins in the first Mickey Soundsational Parade of the Year at Disneyland today at 4. Others were a little more sarcastic, like Jan McGaff, who wrote, I remember one Friday the 13th, only because it was right before Saturday the 14th. How cool was that? Yeah, thanks a lot, Jan. <laughs> I, I don't get that. Yeah, I'm always that glad that we asked. A lot of you say you celebrate birthdays on this day. And, in fact, any month that the first day is on a Sunday, that Friday of the month will fall on the 13th. And the maximum number of times that can happen in a year is three. What we're hitting this year. So, Todd, Stella, lucky us. Yeah, is there anything that suggests that Friday the 13th statistically is more dangerous, like accidents? Actually, the opposite. Surveys that have been done by insurance companies found that there's actually less emergency calls, less accidents, possibly because people are being more cautious or just staying home. Kate Cagle, thank you so very much. This next topic has both our director and our producer very angry. Katie Pe